Howdy, Tab Nation, Tom, and today we're going to be doing another Microsoft Office comms video. Today we're doing Outlook. Uh, just a heads up, for some odd reason, my Outlook does not want to work. My uh, Microsoft account is being very weird, so I will not be able to show you it really in action, but I can explain it pretty well and you'll understand what it does. And at any point, once I get it back up and running and I'm able to use Outlook again, I'll uh, link a video description or in the description below just showing it in action. So just definitely check it down there or in the comments. Maybe I'll pin it and I'll just do a video where literally all I do is show the script running. But for now, I just kind of have to explain it. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. I blame Microsoft as usual. But yeah. We are going to be using F1 here as our hotkey. Obviously, change that to whatever you please. Uh, we're going to do detect hidden windows on. That way, if I have the window minimized or, you know, just hidden somehow, you know, we want to be able to see it so we don't run an error or, it, you know, thinks it's not running. So it's going to check to make sure, first of all, that Outlook is actually running. So it's checking the process, if it exists, outlook.exe. If it's not running, we're gonna throw an error, and then it's just gonna go ahead and launch it for me. So that's really nice, it's very helpful. And then it's gonna sleep um, for 15 seconds. You can change this, obviously, how you want. That's just to give it time to uh, load and make sure that it's loaded before it starts doing all this code here. I mean, if your Outlook opens within like two seconds and ready to go, you could change this down to like five seconds versus 15 seconds. So you can play around with this if you want. So I'll actually add that as a comment. So I'll add that as a comment just so you guys, when you copy it, you know. So the next thing, we're going to set a uh, global variable here that's just going to be called email. Once again, you can change this to whatever you want. Um, just make sure you change it in all these spots as you see highlighted also. So we're going to go ahead and connect to Outlook, the application, by using com object active. You can always change this to com object create. I wouldn't really do that with Outlook. I mean, that's kind of why we have this run thing here with this air level the guarantee that this will work that this line won't throw an air because it obviously will be active because it will be running from up here next we're going to go ahead and create item into the email and then we're going to go ahead and connect to the email and basically what this is doing right here these two lines is we are creating a Brand new email, blank email, you know, just pop up, subject line, all that stuff, ready to get ready to type and send. So send using account, test at testing.com. This is obviously something you're going to change to whatever your email address is in your personal email or if it's your work email. Just go ahead and change that to whatever it is because sometimes Outlook, you can have multiple like email accounts. So you want to make sure you're targeting the correct account if you do have multiple ones. Um, so that's kind of why this line exists. Email to. Well, this is pretty self-explanatory. Who's it going to? Put in the name of who you're sending it to. Now, obviously, you're probably going to always not be using the same person over and over again. So what you could do here is a few things. You could create this as a variable, and then on a line right here, you could do a... Uh, input box could go here and then you could just input the copy and paste the email in there or have a way to where you highlight somebody's email and then push f1 and it'll automatically control c to grab this and then right here you just put the variable uh the built-in variable for auto hotkeys which is clipboard well built into the computer but there's a few different options you could do here if you don't want to hard code the email in i've done a few videos on different ways to grab information and then input it as a variable so definitely check those out if you're not really understanding what i'm saying there <laughs> uh pretty self-explanatory we're doing subject i need your cookies change it to whatever you want once again you could make this a variable if you don't want to hard code it that's up to you then our body, you know, what is the actual message we're sending? So we're saying, give them to me or else I cut your grass too short. And that's going to be what we're going to say to our client. 
uh, display equals true. That means I want to see the email uh, versus it kind of being ran in the background and I can't really see it. I want to see it. You can obviously change this to false or just delete this line of code, depending on that. Now, I obviously have this commented out, but this is email send. That's just going to automatically send it. So that's really up to you if you want to use that or not. You know, if you're going to make it auto send, just make sure you got everything correct up here. You've spelled everything right. You know, it's auto adding your signature. That's a setting in Outlook that you would do. Or you could always somehow put your signature uh, here in the body at the end. You know, just format your signature down there if you wanted to. Uh, but you can, I would just do that from Outlook. But this will automatically send. I probably would never use that because I'd be too paranoid that something went wrong. But, you know, hey, try it out. See if it works smooth enough that you don't have to care. Now, the last thing I wanted to do, just kind of throw it out there. This is something you do not have to use. It's kind of up to you. But we're going to be doing email send and cancel for our function here. So basically what we're doing is if in string email body grass. So it's checking this text right here. And it's basically saying if that if the body of our email contains the word grass, give us a warning or do something. This is where you would change your code up. So I'm just doing a simple message box that says don't cut people's grass. Stop it. So it could be like a little warning sign for if there's maybe like keywords you're looking for where it's like, oh, this keyword is in this email. That means I have to do an extra step or something. You could add a message box or have it automate whatever that extra step is, depending on what you're doing there. And then we're just going to close out here with a return and some uh, what to you guys would be gibberish and pretty much me too. I'd have to Google exactly what that means, but basically disconnecting. Uh, but yeah, that is how it works. Unfortunately, I cannot show you this running because I'm having major issues with my Outlook account for some odd reason. I don't know if it got hacked or what, but keep an eye out on the description and the pinned comment below once i get that all back up and running i'll just do a video like i said where i just literally be like a one minute video where i say hey this is from this video i'm just showing you how it works live boom there you go have a great day and speaking of which have a great day make sure you subscribe two to three videos if you have anything else you want to see with comms when it comes to outlook Definitely let me know in the description below. I definitely plan to do a few more videos on just Microsoft Office in general. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.